Hey everyone, it's me, Jordan M.B. Pollock, and I finally got a new microphone. It, I don't know what brand it is, but it's a microphone. It took me a while to fix and put it on my camera, but that's not what we're gonna talk about today. Today, I just wanna give you some updates, and Elgato is coming into my hands very soon. I can assure you that, and gaming videos will come up very soon. But for now, I wanna talk about the Charlotte Hornets, my team, my favorite NBA team, the Charlotte Hornets, and how bad we are, and how bad we're gonna be this season. First off, let's take a look about this year's draft. Yes, we passed on Michael Porter Jr., who is the next Kevin Durant, and I believe we should have picked him up, of course, because who do we have? Michael Gilchrist, Nicholas Batum. First of all, point guard Kim Walker is probably not gonna be there any longer. He's probably going to get traded. Dwight Howard already got traded. I don't know why they traded him because they traded him for nothing. Timothy Moskov, I'll look at future second round pick and then some cash considerations. I, I don't understand the management of the Charlotte Hornets. Our draft history is very bad with um, Kaminsky is not that bad, but we could have gotten a much better pick. And the Celtics gave us, well, offered to trade Six pick, six draft picks to us for our pick, for because they were eyeing Justice Winslow, but they never got him. But anyways, before all that, I just want to go over the starting lineups, the bench, and everything, and why our season this upcoming year is going to be so bad. So bad, it's either going to be so bad or decent. It's not going to be really good. It's going to be so bad or decent. Okay, point guard, Kimball Walker currently, but he's probably going to get traded. Shooting guard, sadly, Nicholas Batum. We need to get rid of him. His contract, he signed a five-year, $120 million deal. He's not worth that much. He's not good. He's not good. He was good. He's not good anymore, obviously. Get rid of him. Trade him for someone. Someone that can actually, is actually consistent, younger, and we can offer him a less valuable contract. Small forward, Michael Gade Gilchrist. I only like him on the defensive side. He can't shoot. He cannot shoot to save his life. So trade him or release him or something or just keep him, whatever. Power forward, we have Frank Kaminsky center. We now have Timothy Mozgov, so we are bad. We are very bad. But the thing I am excited about is Malik Monk. Uh, coach didn't play him last year, really any at all, but I know he's going to improve it. I know he's really good, and he's a spot-up shooter. He's a, he's a pure shooter, and this kid's got range, and he's very consistent. It didn't seem like it this year because Coach Brumman at, like, the wrong times, sometimes didn't even play him. It was just it was just terrible. Dwayne Bacon, keep. He's a good uh, he's a good late, late uh, pick in the draft. I like him. And um, Cody Zeller. I don't like Cody Zeller because he was the fourth pick in the NBA draft. He's still the same guy he ever was. Decent, an average basketball player, an average power forward, but he's just clumsy. But he's got he's he's improved more on that. He's he was clumsy, but he improved a lot more. But so that's what we're rocking at starting uh, starting position bench. I believe Marvin Williams contract is terrible, ten million a year or something like that for what he's worth. He's a good, nice guy. I've met him before. Like all these players, all these players, I had Charlotte Hornet season tickets. I met him before. Most of them are nice. Well, all of them are nice. But Marvin Williams, great guy and all that. But is he worth ten million a year? I don't think so. So do something, do something with him. I I enjoy Marvin Williams because he's kind of like that stretch forward. But he's he's fun to stay. So we got that nah, I want to go. Nicholas Batum and trade him and MKG for someone, him or him and Cody Zeller for someone, which is kind of like two things, or draft picks, but mostly someone too. Draft picks and um, average, to, average to good guy. I believe someone like, what's, what's uh, 
with a decent. I mean, we could trade up for Clark Clarkson. Uh, we don't really need Jordan Clarkson, but there there's a plethora of players that are available for that. So I'm gonna look here on the roster. Okay, yeah, yeah. Dwayne Bacon keep Batum no, just no. Miles Bridges are draft pick this year. I think that was a good draft pick. I well, I think that was a decent draft pick for instead of Shea Gilligas Alex. Alexander, because they compared him to Michael Carter Williams, and we sure as hell don't need another Michael Carter Williams because we already have him on our team, and he's like like they compared him. He has no jump shot. He can't shoot. So I'm glad I'm glad that we traded him to the Clippers and got that pick. I was kind of like confused. I was like, okay, maybe they screwed up and they want Michael Porter Jr. now, but then they drafted Miles Bridges, which I was okay with. But I think I think Miles Bridges is going to be like a MKG, but better and can shoot better. But I don't really know until the NBA season starts and, like, I kind of see how he's going to play with the team. Summer League doesn't really tell me anything, to be honest with you, because they are not really matched up with their teammates. They're matched up with, like, the rookie and then, like, other people who went undrafted and, and so on and so forth. So I won't really know until the season starts. But Michael Carter-Williams, we still have him. I like, the, I, I like this, like, history, kind of. But... Not, I mean, we're not paying him that much. So, I mean, I guess he's a great bench player, <laughs> like a role role model or so, a role player, not a role model. I don't know what I'm talking about. Devontae Graham uh, is our draft pick. He, I can see uh, potential in him being from Kansas, not just because he's from Kansas, but he's, he kind of reminds me of like a, like a, off-brand Damian Lillard, so I think that would be pretty good. Trevion Graham, I haven't really seen him that much play. Um, Willie Herman Gomez is actually he's actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, he's actually pretty good. Dwight Howard, sadly, he's he's gone unless something magical happens. But the Hornets love to give away someone who's good. Al Jefferson, for example, which I mean we kind of did the right thing, but he was just so good for us as the Bobcats. He, he, we just signed him in the offseason as a free agent. Didn't know he was going to just, like, blow up all of a sudden. Came back, blew up. He was robbed of an all-star pick, so all-star selection. So that's that, and that sucks. But we let him go due to injury problems and knee problems, and, he's, and he is getting older, and he's not really performing at his best like he is, like he used to be. So, I mean, I think we did good there. But, I mean, with Dwight Howard, he was averaging a double-double last year. He was... He would, him and Kimball were carrying our team. Even though we didn't make the playoffs, they were carrying our team. Other than that, our team sucks. Just straight out sucks. So Dwight Howard, I don't know why they traded him for Timothy Mozgov and a fucking draft pick and, like, financial considerations. Like, I yeah, welcome to that text. Not text, that uh, notification. And I just, I was just so angry. Frank Kaminsky, keep MKG trade. Ar then the other guy, Arno Ar 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 Arnoldas, Kobuka, Kobuka. I'm tired of these international players in the NBA, if you got to tell me. With the exception of Porzingis, but nobody knew Porzingis was going to be like that, let's be honest. Um, this guy, I don't really know too much about him. I don't really knew, know too much about like the FIBA, the international teams and all that. I don't really know. Like I know Luka Doncic, uh, Doncic whatever, this year. He's supposedly like really freaking good, but I don't, I don't know until you get on the court. I really don't. Uh, Jeremy Lamb, he's good. I'd like to keep him. He's he's a great uh, bench six man. Mangok, Mangok. I'm not even. Gonna, that's that's three consonants together. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, yeah, do whatever you want with him. Trade him. Malik Monk, he has potential. He definitely has potential. Um, coach last year, uh, Coach Cliff didn't see it last year, really. Obviously, hopefully this uh, coach, whoever, I don't even know the coach's name, honestly, if I have to be completely honest. I know our new GM's name, Mitch. Uh, Marcus Page, I like him. He's a Carolina boy. Keep him. Uh, Julian Stone, not too much about him. Cody Zeller trade, Marvin Williams trade. Too bad none of that's going to happen because our management is terrible. So, my my assumption for the record that next year would have to be like a 
30, 50, uh, 30, 43, 30, 40 something. Not good. Negative. I don't know. I, I don't really have anything else to say. It's just I'm disappointed with the draft picks than what we could have with Michael Porter Jr. and we could have still gotten Devontae Graham. I'm, I'm happy about the Devontae Graham. We could have gotten Michael Porter Jr. and here's the thing, they're like, oh, he's prone to injury and all that. He's got like the back problems and all that. But back problem, on, like the back injury he had is so easy to like obtain and the, the surgery is just like, after an hour you can walk again. So it's not that big of a deal. And yes, he, I mean, he is injury prone, but at the same time, what do we have to lose? We haven't been to the playoffs in the past. Oh, no, we've been to the playoffs only three times in the past ten years. Three times. We got swept in twice. And we managed to play the Heat in all of them. Heat with LeBron James and all of them, and we got swept twice. And then most recently, whenever Jeremy Lin was on the team, I think that was like 15-16 season. Uh, actually, 14, no, 15-16 season, yeah. That was our second season. Um... We were we went to game seven with them, which that was a really good series. But anyways, man, not man, viewers, um, I don't really have anything else to say. It's late. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I just wanted to make this quick video and test out my new mic. But anyways, gaming content's coming soon. I'm actually just pre-ordered NBA Live 19. I know it doesn't seem better than 2K, but... Live 18 was better than 2K this year. So I'm excited to see what 2K19 is going to bring to the table with Live 19. So I pre-ordered both of them. And you, I, since I have EA access on the Xbox, NBA Live 19, I get to play first on September 3rd. And then 2K uh, September 7th. And I will give you guys a full rundown of that. And I will be coming out with videos soon once I get that Elgato. Very soon. So um, probably in the next... Definitely this, uh, definitely this month or next. But I'll get that to you guys soon. And thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting my new channel. And see ya.